Getting a little bit of a late start this morning. I had to switch over from white to black clay. And as you can see, I'm still getting some things cleaned up. Hope you all are well. I'm working with a little bit of a different camera angle. So hopefully that works out for all of us. And I've I'm going to put some gloves on this morning for this. Oh, good morning, ladies. I changed up the camera angle a little bit. I thought it would give you a little better view of the bat. Hopefully you don't mind missing seeing my smiley face. Yes, black clay. No more Oompa Loompa here. So I've cut it off. And let's see if we'll, we'll weigh this. And it is nearly exactly 10 pounds. Wow, I couldn't do that try twice if I was trying. I have a um, girlfriend. Chris, you might know her. Katie Anderson that does um, that is an artist she has a beautiful voice and she's part of a group called winter grain I believe and uh, I'm reaching out to her to see if I can't use her music her and her band's music um, Sorry, I'm going to have to round this out a little more. This is going to be noisy. Cover your ears. Oh, and it's cold this morning. I think I'm going to have to cut this in pieces. It's going to need a lot of love. So what I'm going to do is I'm cutting this in pieces and I'm going to add them on as I um, get it centered. This is a little bit of a different technique than what you've seen me do before. And um, I'm just going to run with it. Clay is super cold this morning. It sits um, on the outside wall. I feel like I need to move it in some. How do I get notifications to stop showing up on my screen? I don't care about them. Not right now, I'm hanging out with y'all.
trying to warm up this clay a little bit with friction. The water that I brought in is a good temperature. So once I get this centered, I'll put the other layer on. As you can see, it's not very nice right now. Andrea, how was your weekend? I saw pictures of AJ Chris. She's getting big. You know what, y'all? I think we're gonna switch it up. The reason I say that is because this clay is really hard and really cold. And I can tell because it will not cone right. I don't know if you can see that there's a pretty big wobble right here. So I'm gonna need to moisturize it. The way I'm gonna do that is I'm gonna Put the clay, not this hunk, but um, the rest of it, I'm gonna put it back in a bag and add probably half a cup of water. And then I'm gonna put the bag in a big old bucket of water. So tomorrow morning, the compression of the water on the bag of clay should give us nice moist clay and this is just not moist clay so how does everyone feel about a plate this morning um plates I usually do on tar paper um, because it's much easier to let it dry. But since I've already got this center-ish, um, I'm just gonna go with it. So I'm gonna, um, you know what? Valuable lesson here. Sometimes you just gotta accept what happens and turn it into something else. You know that saying when life gives you a bucket full of lemons and turn it into lemonade? Well, sometimes when life gives you a bag full of hard clay, you turn it into a plate. And the reason I'm going to turn it into a plate is I don't 
um, the technique that I'm using for doing plates doesn't require a lot of uh, technique, honestly. Um, and it works really well with uh, clay that's a little more firm. So, y'all gonna see it firsthand here at Heather's Pottery Barn. I know I've broken this out before. My handy dandy Joseph Joseph rolling pen. I'm uh, just gonna wipe it off. It looks like the last time I used it was with black clay. Um, so the key to this I've found is to keep moisture um, pretty steady. Because um, this is wood. It's going to um, try to stick. So I'm just putting this on the top, the uh, rolling pin on the top, and you can sort of start to feel center. And I'm also, I've got a sponge that I'm resting, a wet sponge, and I'm using the compression of my hand on top of the sponge to steady the uh, rolling pin and to add moisture so it doesn't stick. So if y'all are tuning in, looking for a big black bowl to be made. It's not happening this morning. That clay is cold and hard and mad. So, cold hard clay likes to be a big black plate. And I'm gonna keep pulling this up and down every once in a while. You can see that the clay, still even as I'm getting it wet, um, wants to stick. If I was using like a PVC pipe or something that has a little less texture, um, this might be okay. Since I've got this spread out quite a bit, I'm gonna um, just give it a push. And you can see when it starts to dry out the uh, color probably from what you guys can see is changing there i've added water to it so i'll give it a press for a couple seconds keep adding water and what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this all the way out to the edge of the bat the bat is 12 inches. Um, I've been with the um, tar paper, I can throw these on the wheel, the wheel head, and when I do that, that makes a 14 inch starting plate, which is a really nice size because this clay shrinks down about 11% from its raw state as it dries. I'm gonna push this out just a hair past the edge of the bat. And the reason I'm doing that is because I'm gonna lift up the edge some, like a plate, you know, Plates have edges sometimes. Unless you're like the flat plate series. I made a set of four ombre, blue ombre plates. Um, the set has already been broken up. There was a preference for the uh, turquoise one. Okay, so as I stop, I'm gonna stop it real quick so you guys can see the shape of the plate before I start messing with it. Um, it's a little out here and here and here. So what I do is I take the pin needle tool and I'm going to 
just hold it along the edge of the bat, which will give it, and um, on this side, I can see the edge of the bat. So I feel like I'm just gonna drag it along the edge. right there. I don't know how I did that. So when that happens, just hold the, the needle tool where that nick was and let it just go around. There we go. That worked out pretty well. do need to bring in the circle just a little bit but I want to get off the little hangy pieces because the little bit that I'm gonna pull right here there's a little dent um, I just want it to be round today I'm not getting my hopes up too much that's a little better I think Maybe it just doesn't want to be around today. Maybe the clay wants to go back to the bag, like a bad little clay. Sometimes we all just want to go back to bed. Just kidding. It wants to be a plate. It sense it. Just needs a little more coaxing. Just a little sliver over here that I'm pulling away from the main body. All right, you ready to see what it looks like, how we become a plate from this flat slab of goodness? Well, you, saw, you sort of saw this when I did coasters. Um, I did the coasters with my hands, though. Um, So you never really saw the rolling pin thing. I did give it a shot, but it wasn't worth the, the worthwhile. Good morning, Joe. The plan was to make a big black clay bowl. Clay is way too hard this morning. Um, so instead of fighting with the clay and potentially injuring myself, for reals, 10 clowns of, pounds of clay, trying to move it when it doesn't want to move, can not be a good thing for my body so I turned it into a plate I'm just going to do a little bit of compression it doesn't need a lot um, because it got compressed really well when I use that rolling pin um, so now I'm going to lift the edge of it up and this is pretty much the same technique I did with the coasters I am, however, I feel like I'm going to give it a pretty wide brim. Um, most of my plates have fairly thin, shallow brims. They're really meant more for uh, a nice steak of potatoes meal as opposed to something that's got a um, body to it, a moving body. Typically at this point, I would take the uh, edge of the folding, throwing tray off also. So I'm going to push this flat piece, I'm going to run it across the bat, and it will lift the lip of the plate. As you can see, there was a little bit of slip still stuck to the side of the plate. That's okay. I'm just going to keep on going with this route. Now 
just am trying to tell myself it's okay. Um, okay, it's gonna pull off. It'll pull off. We'll, we'll work it back in. I think I'm gonna try to work that back in real quick. do this too much because I'm going to mess up the plate some. Um, this tool also has like a finger on it. I'm going to use the finger to try to scrape off that clay. Or at least make the bump bump go away. What do y'all think of this new camera angle? Do you like it better or worse? So I'm sort of pushing it back down. I really want that bump to come off. And another way I can do that is with my rib. So my little metal rib. So I'm gonna try to, there is just a little bump from when I pulled it up. I like that as much as I do. That was satisfying. Just watch it get all smoothed out. Pull the slip off of it some. again. Actually, I, I am going to pull off this drip pan. I really am not getting a very good angle um, with the tool that I'm using because it's pretty long. It's like six, seven inches long and it's obviously running into the edge of the drip pan. So I'm going to dry this out a little bit and just pull off the drip pan and set it to the side so that I can get a really good angle. Um, this is like seeing the underbelly here. <laughs> Who knows what this is going to look like. You can tell it's not super easy to pull apart. Ugh. That's pretty cool. So now I can get my tool in there. Yay. And I can also apply a bit more downward force so I'm not um, hopefully getting too much excess clay. If you're just tuning in, big black bowl became a big black plate. 
reason it became a big black plate is because big black bag of clay is way too hard for what I was trying to do with it today. So I'm gonna get it wet, stick it in a bag of water, and I'm going a different route with something that I know can um, afford to be a little stiffer than most. I like the edge on this. Let me find my sponge. Oh, of course. A little piece right here that wants to bubble out. I might just leave it. Adds to the character. But I will give it a fighting shit. Chance at going back to its home. Double sponge method here. Let's way out a little bit. All right, there she is. Pretty cool, huh? I'm liking it. So since I did not do this on tar paper, I'm going to have to cut it off the bat. So the reason I'm gonna to have to cut it off the bat is because when um, the clay dries, because of the texture of the bat, it will stick and dry to the bat in a manner that is very difficult to get off and not ruin your piece. So I'm adding a little bit of water on the bat, not on the plate, but on the bat. So when I pull my wheel through, some of the water gets underneath. Okay, so piece of wire, looks like a big piece of dental floss with a couple handles on the end. The handles are just there for decoration, I swear. Uh, um, because I always end up just putting my thumbs and I'm going to pull this underneath and keep it pressed against the bat and pull it the rest of the way through. So by keeping the bat spinning, I am getting multiple um, cuts underneath it. If y'all didn't see, I um, started posting some stuff on Facebook and big news, I made an Etsy profile. Here, I'm gonna just see my face. Um, I made an Etsy profile. It's not as easy as it looks. I have literally taken probably a thousand pictures. <laughs> Um, yeah, and, um, I have to weigh things and measure things and it's a lot of work. So as I go through that process, um, I will let my Facebook family know that, um, things are appearing on Etsy. If you are part of my Facebook family and you live local, Please don't buy it from Etsy. I will deliver it personally with a bow and a smile. 
and um, we can both save some money. Um, yeah, so please, if there's something that you want, reach out to me and I will sell it to you at a Heather Facebook friends discount. And sometimes when life hands you a bag of hard clay, you make it a plate. Love y'all. Have a wonderful day.